just like unboxing the tools, some new life has been breathed into crafting tools lately. And this is a cordless drill, 20 volts. You can get the whole thing for $100. charge that baby. Companies send me tools all the time for free because they want me to like them. And if I do like them, I'll let you know. This is a fairly small battery, but small in capacity. It's 20 volts, but I, um, I have to do some checking to see if there's more, bigger batteries, more capacity that would be deeper. Companies always send these things, these little bit driver, driver bits. But they're not much good. Um, got thousands of them, but I guess they're trying. Okay, the T Stack Connect Radio and Charger. It's supposed to have premium sound and Bluetooth. And it's called T Stack because. It's meant to go on the system here. Let's see what this looks like. Christmas morning comes many times here in Bailey Line Road. Several times a week, in fact. This turtle doesn't want to come out of its shell. Okay, so what do we have here? I always like doing this. There was a lovely neighbor woman in the house where I grew up and she had her couch completely covered in clear plastic. Her and her husband never had kids, but they, they still weren't taking any chances. This is the battery charging section. Let me just grab a battery. You didn't have to go very far to find your collection of batteries. No, here, take a look. I keep all of the chargers in a drawer here. It's handy, out of the way. I have heard of battery chargers catching fire sometimes, so I didn't want to take any chances. They're here in the power bar. Okay. Presumably it's charging. Presumably, it is actually. Well, maybe we're too far off the beaten track for the FM radio to work, but uh, Sidney Bechet never sounded so good. Never a dull moment here. We've sprung a leak in this uh, tractor tube and uh, tractor tire just after we got the tire chains on for the winter. So I got to take that off and the repair guy is coming today. Get it in there. Very careful. <laughs>
This big poplar here fell down in a windstorm. It's always happening along the edge of the fields and we're just cutting it up for some easy to get firewood. This is the little town that's about half an hour's drive from Bailey Line Road where we shop and do other things and this is a glimpse of the annual Christmas parade. One of the things I like about winter is the, the days of soft, gentle snowfalls. This is the view out of the um, openable skylights in our attic looking out onto our fields. We're finished splitting wood now in the fields, so that's Robert driving our 65-year-old Super H tractor with me in the back in a trailer bringing that splitter home. I go out to the outdoor boiler several times a day to make sure it's burning all right, and that's what I'm doing here now. I keep a pair of gloves right in here. They're toasty, warm, and dry every time I come and I need them. I don't really need to put in wood right now, but uh, I'm here, so I'm going to. These are our round wood piles. They're faster to stack and more stable. I think the wood dries better too. One nice thing about an outdoor boiler is that you don't have to make the wood very small. This is actually about as small as I make it. And it also takes the really big pieces too. On top of this other stuff. And the other wood is it out before it gets down to be the, the big logs turned to mud. It's not exactly deck weather these days, but uh, I am doing some deck work when I have a chance. We used to have plywood on this veranda. We were going to enclose it as a sunroom. We decided against that, so I'm replacing the plywood with Trex. Trex has changed its approach and its formula, so come on, take a look at this. This section here is made with the, uh, the older Trex. An inch and a half thick, and it's continuous blend of recycled plastic and wood fiber, about 50-50. They don't make this anymore. They make a new version. I think it may be because of a lawsuit or something they had where some mold was growing on here. I'm not sure why, but they have the same core as before, but now they've covered it in a plastic, in a completely plastic layer. It's not gonna match perfectly, but it's gonna be pretty close. The big difference is thickness. But you can see this is a lot thinner. I want it to, to match the height of this thicker stuff here. So, We've peeled the plywood off, Robert and I have peeled it off, and I've applied these spacer strips. This brings it up to the correct level. So when I, when I get this all together, it's gonna match. So I guess what we have to decide now is how much of family members and interaction maybe in the house or something like that we wanna feature in these Bailey Line Life things. Well, I think that's a, that's a great idea, I mean, it, so we want to get like arguing going on at the table. Real family stuff, like. yeah, exactly. Well, the, the trick's going to be getting the rest of the family on board. So I, I don't know, I'll have to see how that goes, but I think that's well, great. Well, Maybe mom. hidden cameras are the, uh, I'll just wire my own house for hidden cameras. I well, you could do that. I mean, there's <laughs> a lot of pranksters do that on YouTube. Probably mom would be the toughest nut to crack as far as appearing in this series, I think. Definitely. I don't think Ellie would have a problem with publicity. No. I'm a queen. You're a queen. Aren't you supposed to be doing your homeschooling? Didn't I just see a game there? That wasn't a game. So that's a math game, right? It's educational? Yeah, there's only education. It's boring. So you got your workspace up here in the upstairs of the workshop. You have two desks, right? I mean, you have your yeah. computer desk here and then over there. you have your, your work desk over there. Is it comfortable? Yes. But I don't have to do... Oh, that's where your assignments yeah, go? Yeah, I don't have to go... I don't have to do five stories because there's only one more left in it. Reading okay. comprehension, five stories. Oh, so you only have to do one. Oh, you trickster. It's almost done. Because <laughs> you're almost done it. What are you guys working on? 
Something Dad found. Well, <laughs> very enthusiastic, <laughs> Ellie. This is an electronic set. You can do all kinds of fun things. I got this for the boys when I was homeschooling them. I like and I music. love this stuff. I had this when I was a boy. So what's the next one down here? What are you trying to make? It's project oh, yeah. number one. Yeah. Which is? Oh, electric light and switch. Right. Well, so when you're done this, Ellie, can you uh, rewire my house? No. It's it's ready. It's ready. Is it working? Oh, it works. Working. It works. Look it at works. That. Tea. <gasps> it works. Wow. What? Ellie See, has so you, created you... light. Thanks for watching. This was the very first episode in the Bailey Line Life series. New episodes come out every Friday, so subscribe, like, and hit the notifications bell so you know when new videos come out.